We're going to talk about how to use cardamom and cilantro essential oils because they are today's BOGO, which is Thursday, the 22nd of February. You can get both of those for $26. So if you're interested in this deal, you would just go to your cart and add cardamom and cilantro will automatically show up in your cart after you click proceed to checkout. Cardamom is a really great oil if you're feeling overheated because it has a nice cooling sensation to the skin. You can use it to help ease indigestion and it just helps maintain overall gut health. It's also really good for clear breathing and respiratory health. So if you know anyone that snores, this would be a great oil to try for them or anyone that's struggling with breathing before or after exercise. This is a nice one to pair with Breathe, the oil Breathe, or you can do it on its own as well. And it's a really good oil to use for cooking and baking. You can use it aromatically, topically, and internally. It's also an oil that you can use neat, which means it doesn't have to be diluted. You can use it straight out of the bottle. But if you're using it for the first time or on children, anyone that's pregnant or elderly, I would suggest diluting. The daily drops suggest if you're feeling angry that you can add two drops of cardamom and one drop of clove to a mug of hot water and honey. And when you're feeling triggered, you're gonna use this to help you think rationally. You can also use it for bad breath. So if you had a meal that might have had just a little bit too much garlic or something in there that's causing bad breath, you can put a tiny little bit on your tongue. You really don't need a lot. If you're dealing with any muscle discomfort, you would add cardamom oil to a massage blend and you can use that or you can just put it directly to the aching area. It also is used to uplift moods. So just like we use citrus oils, you would put it in the diffuser and it's going to help uplift mood or you can put one or two drops over your chest area. And it's an excellent oil for the bath. So if anyone likes to take baths, this would be an oil to try in the bath because it's going to help you feeling refreshed and stimulated. It's also a really gentle oil. So it's great for kids and small children, like babies, really. This would be a great oil for a baby. And if anyone is sensitive to peppermint or ginger, you would use this instead of that. So it's a nice substitute. There are a couple diffuser recipes that I found that I thought people might enjoy. The cinnamon bun is citrus bliss, cardamom, and cassia. You could also use cinnamon bark instead of cassia. And the gumdrop is cardamom, cinnamon, lavender, and peppermint. Cilantro is the free oil that comes with this BOGO. And at first, you probably are thinking, what in the world am I going to use cilantro oil for? Well, it turns out there's a ton of great uses. And the main one is that it's known for its detoxifying effects. So you could use this daily on the bottoms of your feet if you want to detox. There's a recipe I'll share with you on a detox bath. And it also helps with digestion. This one can be used aromatically, topically, and internally. It's also an oil that can be neat. So the detox bath recipe, you're going to use this if you are trying to get rid of heavy metals. You can use it every week. You could take this bath. And it's really great if you just got over being sick or maybe you were on a bunch of prescription medications or some antibiotics. If you're trying to lose weight or you had a night of overindulgence, this is a great recipe. So you would just do 10 drops of cilantro, mix it with a cup of coconut milk, and then you're going to add two cups of Epsom salt or magnesium flakes and a cup of baking soda. And you're going to mix everything up and pour it into a hot bath and you're going to soak for at least 20 minutes till you're sweating and releasing the toxins. You can also just put, like I mentioned before, the cilantro on the bottoms of your feet every day if you want to use that as a daily detox. Some other favorite uses are that cilantro can actually lift your spirits. So if you diffuse it with frankincense, it's a really great pair in the diffuser to uplift mood. And people who are struggling with sleep have found that diffusing this before bed helps them sleep better. It's a really nice reflex, relaxing and soothing blend if you are pairing it with frankincense and clary sage in the diffuser, or you can apply it to the back of your neck and forearms. Here's a great recipe. This one's super yummy. Lime cilantro rice. So basically you're just cooking your rice the way you would normally, but you're just adding two drops of doTERRA lime and one drop of cilantro, and it gives it a really nice flavor. This is a good guacamole recipe. It's avocados, tomatillos, a serrano chili, garlic, onion, and then you're just adding one drop of cilantro. 
These are two really nice diffuser blends. So the first one is the odor eliminator blend. It would be two drops lemon, one drop melaleuca, one drop cilantro, and one drop lime. This would also be a nice uh, bathroom spray that you could keep in there, or you could put a diffuser in your bathroom and try that one. The summer cedar blend, you could use Siberian fur instead of white fur. And it just calls for four drops of white fur, one drop cilantro, and four drops cedarwood. So the easiest way to order this BOGO is make sure that you reach out today because it's good for today only. And you can reach out to the person that shared this with you or you can contact me. I'd be happy to help you. If you're working with someone on my team, you can still contact me if you can't get a hold of them. I will know who you're working with and make sure that I ask so we can get your order in. And if you're not already working with anyone, I would be happy to be your help and help guide you through your oil journey. Have a great day.